everyone, this is Ashley at confectionaryhouse.com and this week I want to talk to you about how to melt Merkin's colored candy coatings. The melting process for melting the colored candy coatings is basically the same as the Merkin's milk white and dark, but the Merkin's colored candy coatings melt thicker than milk white or dark and to get that perfect consistency you have to add something called Paramount Crystals. They're palm kernel oil, just like what's in this chocolate already. Some people use vegetable shortening or vegetable oil. I really love using Paramount Crystals because it's not going to change the texture or the flavor and it's kind of a foolproof way to thin your chocolate. These are Paramount Crystals. We sell them in an 8 ounce bag. You can store them in the refrigerator. They don't really go bad. I'm just gonna add a pound of colored candy coatings to my microwave safe bowl. And I'm going to melt them for 30 seconds at a time in the microwave and in between intervals, I'm going to stir. So here we are back with our melted Merkins candy coatings. And as you can see, it's not quite as runny, it's thicker. So we're going to add a teaspoon of Paramount Crystals to the completely melted Merkins candy coatings. We'll just add this right to the melted coatings and we'll stir them in. Now they should melt using the heat of the candy coatings, but if they're not melting, just place this back in the microwave for about five to 10 seconds. They should melt right into the chocolate. Now that my Paramount crystals have melted away, you can see this is way more fluid than what it was before. And this will make it a lot easier to pour it into chocolate molds. It's also great if you're dipping cake pops. If you're making cake pops, you should always be adding Paramount crystals to your candy coating because it'll give your dipped cake pops a thinner coating and you'll have less of a chance of the chocolate cracking on the cake pop. Next, I want to show you how to melt a smaller portion of candy coatings because you don't always need a whole pound of colored chocolate. Sometimes you just want to paint in a chocolate mold and for that you need sometimes three or four chips to do that. So right here I have a small prep dish where I've put just a couple chips of pink candy coatings in the bowl. And we're using a bowl that's around the same size as the amount of coatings that we're melting. We're going to place this in the microwave for 10 seconds. You don't want to do more than 10 seconds because we're only melting a couple chips. If you do more, you're just going to burn them. So I've melted them for 10 seconds. Not a lot has changed, but you still need to stir them to avoid hot spots and distribute the heat. I'm going to microwave this again for 10 seconds. And we've microwaved it again for another 10 seconds. Something you'll notice when melting just a couple candy coating wafers at a time is that they take so much longer to melt. This is where it's really important to give it a really good stir and use the heat of the bowl to melt. Otherwise, you risk burning them. Put it back in the microwave for another 10 seconds. For you guys, we're finally making headway on melting the pink coating. They're kind of a paste-like consistency. So I'm going to throw it back in the microwave for five seconds, dropping the time down so that we don't burn it. Our Merkin's pink chocolate is finally completely melted. And as you can see, it is really globby, which tends to happen with some colors more than others. And also when you're only melting a small amount like this. So we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon, like a pinch, to the Merkins colored coatings. You can just sort of eyeball it. You really can't mess it up. You might need to put it back in the microwave for five seconds to get them to melt into the coating. If you feel like it's not loosening up, you can add a couple more flakes. And there you go. This is great for painting in your chocolate molds. It's just a small amount at a time, so you're not wasting a whole pound. And one little trick that I love is if I need to keep small amounts of candy coatings melted for long periods of time, I'll actually place a heating pad on my work surface and cover it with a paper towel and I'll set all of my little dishes of colored candy coatings on the heating pad. And this helps keep them melted so that you're not running back and forth to the microwave constantly. I hope this helps you to melt your colored candy coatings and avoid any possible issues you could run into. If you have never used Merkin's candy coatings before, I highly recommend you try them. 
If you have used them before, comment below and let me know your favorite way to use the Merkins colored candy coatings.